Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom and my NHL picks for today. Um, I'm going to do six picks here in the next little bit. I'm not going to tell you anymore why I'm in the bathroom. You'll have to look at my other videos to tell, to find out all the fancy reasons why I am in the bathroom. Um, but what I will tell you is that yesterday we were uh, 50%. Um, my, I have been wrong about the Oilers every single time I pick them. Uh, you can go to Riddick's Picks. He he actually picked the Oilers as well. I would highly recommend that you use Riddick's Picks and my picks together to come to your conclusions. The reason why is Riddick's Picks is very algorithmic. It's very mathematical, and I think he does a great job. Um, it actually looks like he, he doesn't know much about like each player and so on and so forth like that in the game. It's just purely mathematical. You know what? There's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's fantastic. I think he does a great job. Um, I'm more energy and knowledge based. Um, not a big mathematical guy. Part of the reason why I'm doing this out of my bathroom. <laughs> but, uh, um, I, I do have a high rate of accuracy as well. Uh, although, though, and so does he. And if I think if we combine the two, we can be, we can do wonderful things together. Um, remember to help me get out of the bathroom. We're going to hit the subscribe and the bell. And we're going to become, we already are greatness. We're greatness now, but we're going to add to the greatness as we grow this channel into some, into, uh, to more viewers, more subscribers, more comments on the bottom, and more frolic overall. And I'm going to come meet all of you, all of you, every one of you. I'm going to come to your town, and we're going to frolic together. So let's go for our picks for today, shall we? Uh, Knights versus the Leafs, uh, Anderson and Flurry and Net. This could go any way. I'm. I wouldn't bet any of this. The Knights could win. The Leafs could win. I'm taking the Leafs at home. Um, what do you, I'm trying to predict whether Anderson or, uh, uh, Fleury's going to have a good night. They're both fantastic. It could be under, it could be over. Really, it's diff very difficult. It's going to be a fast paced game. Um, my guess is it's going to be about four, three, something like that, which would probably be over, but it could just as very well be three nothing or you know anything like that anything could happen in this game so it should be a fun game to watch i'd be watching that one um caps versus the panthers here's a tough one too caps i don't need to say much about that they're a fantastic team this year they have been for quite some time panthers might have trochik back We'll, ch we'll go down in the comment sections and we'll find out who if it's going to be Trocek. Apparently, it is going to be Holtby against Bobrovsky. Bobrovsky has looked a lot better. Um, I have a feeling that the Caps are going to play a defensive system against the Panthers. Um, or the Panthers have more uh, um, offensive, oddly enough, uh, speed. So they're going to try to slow down the game on the road. I'm guessing it's 3-2 either way. I just really don't know which way this is going to go. This seems like an overtime type game. Um, unless Bobrovsky shits the bed or something like that. I'm not very good with these coin flips, but I'm going to take the Panthers 3-2 and wince about it. Uh, Penguins versus the Islanders. Here's a freaking tough card today. Like every one of these games... The Islanders are on a 10-game winning streak. Are they going to make it 11? Um, could. Um, if you're going by algorithms, I bet you if you go over to Mr. Riddick's uh, videos, which I haven't watched yet this morning, um, he would have the Penguins winning this simply because of odds of winning 11 in a row is very slim. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to take the Islanders to win 3-2 simply because I love trots and I want to see them win 11 in a row. Um, I want people to realize how amazing of a coach this guy is if they don't realize it already. Canadians versus the Flyers. 
Hart looked really good his last game. He went through a bit of a spell there. They gave him a break. They played Elliott more. He came back in and just crushed it. Um, if that, with that in mind, if Hart is playing at the top of his game, um, he he's one of the he's like the finest in the land. Uh, besides, you know, maybe up there with Gibson and all that. And it really doesn't matter all that much. I mean, to a certain degree, I suppose, how, what what his team is in front of him. And the Flyers team in front of him is just above average of a team. With him in it, it makes him a playoff team if he's playing up to par. I didn't have the Flyers as, as making the playoffs this year because they were so slow. And I wasn't sure if Carter Hart was going to hit his max. I'm thinking he is. I just have that energy that he's hitting his max and it's happening today. And I'm taking the Flyers uh, three to one. So that would be an under on here. Uh, Rangers versus the Kings. Rangers are coming off a back to back. Zabonajed could be back. Rangers have been playing better. They just came off a, a win off Detroit, which you can't really call it a big win. The problem from what I'm having with the Rangers is they're a young team and they get a little bit ahead of themselves thinking that they're good. And when they get it, so they just came off an easy win off Detroit. How is their mindset going to be coming up against a very fast Canes team who is going to be a little pissed off because they should have won their last game? Um, I believe they were playing the Flyers. I had them to win and they lost really bad. A guy like Brindamore ain't going to let that roll. I have a feeling the Canes are going to win this, and I'm saying 5-2, which I do believe would be the over. Um, Georgiev, uh, Gorgiev is a young goaltender who's up and down. Didn't have a very good game the last time. Could be do, do well this year, this game, but I'm um, taking a chance that the Canes can get five past them. Kings versus the Sens. The Sens are, I, I said they weren't going to be in the bottom of the league this year, and they're showing that they're not going to be in the bottom of the league this year. Um, I'm taking them 4-3 because uh, the Kings are having a very difficult time realizing that they're not good, and they're frustrated, and all of these things like that. Somebody in there needs to come out and say, we're rebuilding, and that's it, because this is just causing way too much stress in this room. They would win more games if they knew that they were rebuilding than they would if they were trying to act like they weren't. Um, not to mention Quick is going to be in that. Watch the ticker for this game, uh, which would mean the comment section down here, that so we can uh, see if Quick is going to be playing. If Campbell's going to be playing, I may change my mind here on whether on the over and on the win. Um, f uh, yes, be... Uh, Check out my previous videos, see why I'm in the shower, and see what my accuracy rate is and all of those things like that. I'm going to do another video after this as well. Uh, this is just the first four or five games. Um, I'll do the rest of them in the next video because I know that you have time restraints. You can't be watching 15 minutes of videos in the morning. you got to get 14 naps in like me, right? And i got to go for one right now. I'm going to go for my nap, my, my one of my morning naps. I'll get back to, uh, and we'll get back to uh, more picks, boys and girls. Um, have a great day, and lots of love to you.